Hello everyone and welcome back to the show. We decided this time to come back into the studio. It was a little chilly outside on our last video. Um, but I'm actually here with Tom Maurer. Tom, thanks for joining us today. Welcome. And today we're actually gonna talk about a, a pretty important topic. Um, one of our, our, our newest products, the Age Bill, has been wildly successful. Uh, people love it. It's been getting a lot of good reviews. We have a lot of good results. But with those good reviews and results come a few questions, Tom. And one of those questions is about glycation, which the H pill specifically focuses on. And so I was wondering if maybe you could help some of our distributors and some of our, our newcomers understand, you know, what is glycation? Yeah, well, thanks. And I don't want to get you buried in, in these technical terms. Glycation is one of the three major things that causes aging. And it happens throughout all the cells of your body, particularly in the stem cells itself, which really slows it down. But one thing uh, that as you get older, uh, it starts to accumulate rapidly, especially in women after the age of 35. So you start seeing tremendous degenerations in skin quality because of uh, rapid increases in glycation. Now, glycation simply is this. It's from glucose, a sugar, and it combines with the protein. And when that happens, it starts to put a film over the surfaces, over the proteins and things like this. And then it makes uh, the elastin in the skin and arteries and veins all inflexible so that uh, the structures don't function the way they should. And you might even think of it like this, just putting saran wrap around <laughs> something, it, it prevents biological processes from going on and it starts to uh, starts to decay the system itself. So just think of it, if you took less sugar, that would certainly help you because that's where it comes from, types of sugars, all types. And then if you had a factor that could overcome glycation, then you've got a major step in the right direction in aging. Well, awesome, Tom. And you mentioned 35 is kind of when women can can notice glycation kicking, but is that kind of a standard age when most people, or when does, when does glycation start? Well, it's, yeah, it's starting from the beginning, but it, it gets to a certain point. When, when a woman hits about 23 years old, she peaks. That's about the average age. And then at 35, she's down probably 15% less of what she was. And because she gets more sun and the skin is thinner, she has a much greater propensity to have damage from glycation. So if you took a uh, woman up to about 35, you say, well, they look pretty darn good. And then suddenly that 35 to 45, there's a dramatic change because there's a rapid increases in glycation. And that browning, that oxidation, that rigidness that happens where the skin starts to lose its flexibility takes place and the one thing that's very bad, especially for women, is glycation replaces moisture. So you, you start to dehydrate, your skin starts to go down, as well as joints, eyes, all of those types of things too. Now, a lot of those things that you just mentioned, those don't sound very great for the body. Um, glycation seems like it's something we should all be worried about. Is it, is it something we should all uh, take note of in our lives? Is it something we should all be focused on, something we should try to act on? Yeah, everybody should because it, glycation is, is the basis of, of the stem cell. It's, it's uh, inhibiting it from functioning, it's filming it, it's uh, causing degradation, affecting biological processes, and it's one of the three major causes of aging. So if it starts the stem cell, every part of our body is created from stem cells. So if you, you should cut back on sugars dramatically, and that includes anything, sucrose, glucose, fructose, any of those things you, you should cut back because less glycose means less glycization that you have. But then you can add compounds like we have in the age pill that go in and they interfere with the reactions, the chemical reactions taking place in the cell so you don't form the glycation and they can also help the cells with own natural process to remove it. Awesome, Tom. So the age pill was designed to help with that. I mean, the first, the AG, anti-glycation. Um, what else can we do? You mentioned to kind of cut back on sugar. So we've got the age pill. We've got, you know, cutting back on sugars. What can we do? How, how can we adjust our lifestyles to help reduce the amount of glycation to help our bodies kind of regain their youth? Well, you know, there's three things that cause, aging is, is not a disease. It's simply decay and degeneration. So if we can end the decay, and we can regenerate more cells than we're losing, what do we do? We grow younger with it, in, in theory. That's the theory of it. So if you say, you ha say this is a cell, and this cell has all kinds of components in it, it's like a little factory, and suddenly they start getting filmed up, and, and nutrients come in, as the nutrients come in, they're making products or new cells and going out, but everything that goes in the cell doesn't go out, and you build up a cellular sludge called lipofusion, and that just is, it's like you're, 
oil in your car, your crankcase, it gets all sludgy, and if you don't change it, your motor breaks down on you. It's the same thing. You build up with this lipofusion, so that's the next thing you have to address, and we've gone after that with the age pill too, because enzymes normally break it down, but as you get glycation, it's, it's filming the surfaces, things aren't functioning well, so you can put ingredients, natural ingredients from foods, but superfoods, very technically advanced, put them in and they can create more of those enzymes, drain the sludge, prevent the glycation, remove the glycation, and you've got two of the three steps done. Okay, Tom, now I get it. Now I understand why people are excited about the age pill. I understand why it helps with those two major parts of aging, but we're also getting a lot of reviews, a lot of excitement and testimonials about this, these massive boosts in energy. Where's that coming from? Well, that even surprised me a little bit, because, but it said in the studies that the energy was increased tremendously. And it really comes down to this basic principle. When a child is young, they don't have any lipofusion. They don't have any glycation within it. And if you look at it like it's a gas pedal, a gas pedal with a, a young child, it's all the way down, they're full of energy. But as that starts occurring over a period of lifetime, that glycation and that lipofusion starts to slow it down. Gotcha. And so here we sit. Now we come along, we can remove the, uh, the glycation, we can remove the lipofusion, and suddenly the pedal goes to the metal and you're off full of energy and strength and stamina, feeling like you did when you were 10, 20, maybe 30 years before. Awesome. Well, there you have it. That's why the age pill is such a great part of your lifestyle. And I hope that explains a little bit about glycation and, and about, you know, how we can improve our lifestyles, improve our lives to, to feel young, to be younger again. Tom, thanks for joining. We pleasure to have you with us. Stay, stay tuned for updates coming up in this month in March. We've got some great events, some, some great news, some great updates for all y'all. Uh, pay attention to our social media and our e-blast and we'll keep you informed. Anyway, thanks for joining us today and we'll see you next time.